It says, which equation represents an odd function? Okay, so let's just go back and define odd and while we're at an even function, so you can answer these types of questions. So um, we'll do an example of an even function here. And then we'll do an example of an odd function here. And that will answer the question for us, essentially. Okay, so what I'm drawing are x and y axes here. I'll just label those x-axis, y-axis, x-axis, y-axis. So if we graph um, the cosine function, let's do that first. Let's say this is a height of 1, so for a height of 1 here. And then that negative 1's down there, negative 1. If you graph co cosine, it's something right like this. And then it's the exact same thing on the other side. This is the way cosine is shaped. And what does that mean? Well, that means, let's say you plug in x. I don't know what this input is. It's some x value on the x-axis. What would this have to be? If I drew it correctly, it's a little bit off. It's the opposite of whatever I chose here. It's the opposite of that x. Whatever I chose here, this is its opposite. And since it's cosine and it's the output's negative 1, we know that it, it's at 180 degrees or uh, pi radians, and this would be negative pi radians, assuming this is just the cosine function there. But that's besides the point. If you plug in x equals, this is pi, and x equal, and the opposite of that, negative pi, what's going to happen? You have the exact same output height, right? These two things are both at a height of negative 1. So that means for this function, f of x is at this point here. It's equivalent to f of the opposite of x. They're at the same output heights. They're equal. So when you have f of x equals f of negative x, or on opposite ways there, sorry, um, this is the definition of an even function, right? This is an even function. And they want to know what an odd function is here, so I'm going to cross out this right there. And for sine, though, if you think about the way sine works, it's something like this, right? It's the same wave, but shifted over, right? It's like this part of the wave, right? shifted over by about 90, or pi over 2 radians. Um, so that, anyway, that's the sine wave over here. And what's the property that we're looking at here? If I plug in x, I get an output of 1. Now for sine, or if that's a happen, you might know that's at pi over 2 radians. So x is pi over 2 now. But that's, that's irrelevant exactly what the input is, right? The output here, f of x is 1. If I plug in um, negative pi over 2, I don't get the same thing, do I? I get the opposite thing. Instead of getting a positive 1, as I got here, I get a negative 1. So in this case, case f of negative x equals negative 1. So when it just happens that f of x is equal to the opposite of f of negative x, here f of x is 1, and that's the opposite of f of negative x, that's the definition of an odd function. And that's what the answer is here. Now, it is possible for functions uh, to be both even and odd, like a circle would have um, both of these symmetries here, right? f of x could equal, let's draw a circle so you can see what I mean. It's possible for functions to be neither even or odd, or both, really. And for a circle, let's just draw a circle real quick. Think about the way a circle works, right? If you have some x value here, okay, and some opposite here, this is an even function because f of x is equal to f of negative x. But it's also odd because f of x equals the opposite of f of negative x, right? Neg f of negative x in this case would be some number down here, which is exactly the opposite of f of x. So it's both even and odd. And also, you could have a function that's neither, that has neither of these properties. You can imagine that happening here. And um, I believe it happens definitely in this function. Let's look at x plus 1 cubed. I think that one will be neither. But let me just clear this off so we can see. And clear. And then we do x plus 1 cubed. And my zoom's a little bit off there, so let's go to zoom 6. That'll do a standard zoom. So this function right here, I mean, you could just tell. If you plug in x, you get some output here. It's not going to match up exactly with the opposite's value, right? 
this outputs up here, whereas this opposite is really right on zero essentially. So you can see, and you can zoom in, you can look at the table values here. Uh, here, if I plug in one, I get eight. But if I plug in negative one, I don't get negative eight. Um, you can see that it's been shifted, right? And But in fact, if you here, delete, delete, uh, x cubed is an odd function. So adding one to it shifts it over. And I don't know, did I put plus two? Sorry about that. It should have been plus one cubed. The idea is that if you shift this function over, it loses that property. No, it's no longer odd. But here, if you look at the table for the just just x cubed, if you look at that table, you can see that one, the output is one, and its opposite is the opposite value. Input is two, output is eight. Its opposite is the opposite of that. The opposite input gets an opposite value. That means it's an odd function, which is what we're saying right here. So anyway, I hope this helped. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I think these two functions are neither odd or even. Sine is an odd function and cosine is a classic even function. All right, thanks.